don't think that's what they intended. No, no. Uh, I'm talking about the public. The people. Yes, I know, but what, what are you going to do to halt this from happening again? We don't need this out to the public. It's uh, too dangerous. Y yes, but it was out of pure luck that the tape was found by an ex-employee. Okay. This has to be your main priority for now. This experiment you've committed to. Yes. So for a few weeks, I've been hearing this weird, like, buzzing sound in my house, and I think I might be able to find what's causing it. I think it's the vents. Like, here, I'll show you. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or anything, but it's so weird, too, because, like, my house doesn't have a basement or anything in it, so it's this, like, weird buzzing noise. Okay, maybe the camera's not going to pick up that one, but it's definitely going to pick up this one. See? There's like this buzzing thing. I don't know this... Hello? I swear I was home alone. Mom? Is someone home? What? Who, who moved this stuff? What? what? Mom? Did you move the furniture? What? I don't understand. What the heck? It doesn't make any sense! It just doesn't make any sense. I need to get out of here.
的好。This looks a little bit normal. Does it ever end? Does this exist? It just doesn't make any sense.
please, I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to leave. I, I don't want to be here. Please, I'm trying to leave. I just want to leave. Please, just get me out of here. What do you want? Please, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Just let me out. Stop! Stop!
So we're all a little curious about your story. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you were first seen bolting from the entrance late in the afternoon, and the police say you were extremely distressed when they found you. They had no idea how you even got in there. Could you tell us a little bit about what happened to you? Yeah. I was lost in this... I don't know how to describe it. What did you see? Empty rooms. Endless hallways. It was dark. So dark. And, and the silence. It was... It felt suffocating. It must have been terrifying, being alone in an abandoned... No, I told the reporters a million times, this wasn't just an abandoned building. I wasn't alone. Are you all right? Have you ever had one of those dreams that felt so incredibly real, but deep down you knew it was just a dream? Like you're trapped in this alternate reality and the only way to escape is to wake up? I'm not sure I understand. That's what it felt like. It, it all felt like, like a nightmare. But it wasn't just a dream. I, I saw them with my own eyes. They touched me. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Have you spoken to a professional? No, about I, I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm not. I know they were real. I understand your conviction, but seeking help. Why won't anyone listen to me? It's, it's all on the camera. People need to know. Please, let's try to keep our composure and just stay calm. Look, it's just me. There are people falling in like I did. There was a girl younger than me, and she's still stuck uh, in there. Cut the feet. You cut the feet. Get security in here right now.
Once again, I want to thank you all for coming in on such short notice. I'll go ahead and skip the pleasantries since we're pressed for time to get right to the point. Remember that any and all information shared during this briefing is considered confidential. It should be treated as such until further notice. Approximately 43 hours ago, three members of a research team from a classified organization were involved in an incident that caused them to momentarily lose radio contact and become separated from the rest of the squad. The remaining member managed to bring back this footage. How's the presentation now? It worked pretty well from what I've heard. Apparently they only had a minor discrepancy during the signing, but they managed to get everyone's signature in the end, so... All right. Well, that's good to hear. Do you know roughly when it'll go into effect? Probably sometime next week, but the details are kind of... <laughs> oh my god, guys! Guys! Can you hear me? Chris! Nathan! Jason! Oh, oh my god. Oh my shit. Guys! Guys, are you alright? Isaac, this is standard. What's going on? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. My, me and my team, we're just walking and they just... I, 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 I don't know. They just fell through the fucking floor or something. Please, please send help. I, can't, I think I lost contact with them. They're not responding. I think they might be dead. I, I, okay, Isaac. Just stay calm, all right? We'll send someone down there and try to figure out what's going on and help you out, okay? Just, just stay put for now so we can follow your tether to you. Okay. Oh, okay, got it. This is what became of the researchers. We're not exactly sure how or why this happened. This just breaks our current understanding of science and physics. Experts in the field have their theories and ideas on how this could be possible. However, nothing definitive yet. Although, something you may be familiar with is the recent spike in missing persons cases as of late. Uh, is some believe that they might be related in some way based on the reports citing a very similar set of circumstances and events transpiring. Whatever the case may be, we have confirmed that the team depicted in this footage managed to survive the fall. Approximately an hour after the team fell in, an emergency distress beacon was activated roughly 70 yards northeast from the drop-off point. That puts them around here, which tells us there's likely some kind of underground structure beneath what the company now refers to as Hallway 1138. Based on the depth data of the beacon, we estimate them to be anywhere between 20 and 50 feet below the surface. And we're absolutely sure they're still alive down there? Is it possible the beacon tripped off on its own? In addition to the beacon, we've recently managed to regain brief but very sporadic radio contact with the team. We've confirmed they're alive, but two of the members are severely injured and incapacitated from the fall. Unfortunately, our contact with the team is too unstable, and it's virtually impossible to establish any kind of beneficial communication. Well, wait. If they're incapacitated, then why aren't they still at the base of the drop? I mean, why even move at all? We're still unsure. Although I'm sure they have their reasons, it's hard to verify what exactly is going on down there. Regardless of their current whereabouts, our main objective will be to search the surrounding area and retrieve them back up to the surface. The plan is to locate the hazardous area and mark it off to be dealt with accordingly. You'll be equipped with a camera of your own to not only scout out the surrounding area underground, but also to document the entire mission. Once you've found the drop-off point and verified its safety, you will rope down to the bottom, locate the surviving members, and repel them back up to the surface. To do this, you'll be equipped with a grappling harness and motorized rope ascenders to assist you in repelling. Now, due to the hazardous nature of this facility, the air and surrounding environment isn't verified to be safe. In addition, we have a reason to believe that there may be an abnormal amount of surrounding pressure from the outside. To compensate for these conditions, you'll be equipped with prototype Mark III NBC hazmat gear. This will help withstand the extreme exterior pressure from the outside as well as keep out any potential contaminants. 
It's crucial you treat the entire area as biohazardous, which means you're unauthorized to break your seal from the outside for the entire duration of this mission. We'll handle the research team and decontaminate them once they've been extracted and escorted back to the facility's outpost. You'll also be equipped with standard Colt 723 carbines outfitted with flashlights to compensate for what we believe to be low light conditions. Flashlights will also be affixed to your helmets for added visibility. Why the guns? Should we expect resistance? It's hard to say for sure. There's an unlikely chance you might encounter potential hostiles after you've made your descent. However, I'm not allowed to get into the details of what that might be. Wait a second, you can't even tell us what we're up against? Due to the classified nature of this assignment, I'm only allowed to reveal what my superiors deem necessary. But rest assured, there's nothing down there you guys aren't equipped to handle. Oh, well thank you, I'm, I'm very assured now. Lieutenant Hudson, this isn't your standard point-and-shoot assignment, this is a black operation. Everything is on a need-to-know basis, and there are even details about this that I'm not aware of. Considering the team is still alive, it's pretty safe to assume that it's all clear down there. The weapons are merely a precaution. Trust me, if there was any tangible threat to the mission, you all would have been thoroughly informed about it. Now, if there's still a problem, we can always have someone replace your position. However, to those of you who stick around to get this done, the government will triple your rates and include a $500,000 bonus for each of you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, damn! Right. But with that said, there are of course conditions. As I mentioned previously, due to the classified nature of this facility and the company researching it, this is considered a black operation. Nobody knows we authorize this, and nobody even knows this meeting is happening right now. It's in everyone's best interest to keep it that way. All information shared during this meeting stays in this meeting. And a gag order will be placed on all of you about the details of this operation after its conclusion. Trust me when I say you'll be surprised how quickly you'll be dishonorably discharged if word of this gets out to the public. Alright, with all that said, are there any other questions? Where exactly are we going? All right, we're rolling. Looks like the camera's working fine. All right, good. What do you say the real thing was for? I think he said I could mount the camera to my helmet to free up my hands during the mission. Which, I mean, sounds great in theory, but we'll see how well it works. Okay, well, we shouldn't need you to set anything up, so you'll be on camera duty for now. Sounds good. Robert, I'm the assistant supervisor. Follow me and I'll show you where we'll be heading out. Uh, first thing before you guys get started, uh, try and stick together as best you can. We've already lost one of our guys that way after he got separated from his team. <laughs> Damn, you know, just losing all kinds of people in this place. Yeah, that seems to be the pattern as of late. But it's pretty easy to get lost, especially if you don't know where you're going or what you're looking at. Just as a baseline, if you see anybody or hear voices of any kind before you guys make your descent, don't follow it or try to interact with it in any way, shape, or form. Apart from our missing team, you guys should be the only ones out there right now, all right? So does that happen often, or no? Well, no, not really. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't happen at all. Teams occasionally come back saying that they hear disembodied voices, but to be fair, that could be anything with how much noise that place creates. Ever since the disappearance of our aforementioned researcher, we just tell everyone to ignore them as a baseline. But just because it's rare, doesn't mean it's not a precaution. Right. Got it. All right, and I'm guessing based on the guns, you guys know about our little friend downstairs. Well, not exactly. For whatever reason, that was deemed as unnecessary information by our higher-ups. Huh. Okay, then. Well, as far as we know, he's MIA. I'm on the complete opposite side of where you guys will be heading. The entrance there is sealed up tight, so there's no chance he's getting out without us knowing about it. As for what you'll find down the hole of 1138, I don't know if you mentioned it being unlikely that you'd find anything down there, but considering the team's been down there for just about two days now, I think that's evidence enough that it should be pretty much clear. But yeah, definitely bring the guns, it's just a precaution. We're honestly probably going to start doing the same going forward. Right. 
All right, I think that should be everything. So just go ahead and load up your stuff on the carts, and we'll go ahead and drive you guys where you need to be. All right? Okay, then. and tight hallways from here, so you'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Go ahead and mark off the edge on the drop-off point, and we'll handle it after you guys are done. We'll be on standby over here in case you guys need anything, all right? Okay, sounds good. All right, good luck, guys. So, anybody want to take a guess on what the hell we possibly need with this place? Well, my guess would be storage of some kind. I mean, you guys saw the room we entered in. It was huge. These hallways and rooms really go on forever. This would be a great place to store stuff in. And now with overpopulation being a major concern, we probably could even turn these into living areas or housing even. Housing in a hazardous foreign environment filled with threats they can't even tell us about? Yeah, I'm sure nothing could go wrong. You're still worrying about that, aren't you? You know, I'm honestly surprised you guys aren't. I mean, am I the only one with their fucking head screwed on right? Look at what's happening right now. We're walking into a military operation, essentially blind about what we could even be fighting. In a facility they can't tell us about, for a fucking company they can't even tell us about. I don't give a shit if this is a blackout. I've never been on a mission where they've kept information like that from us. Well, I'm sure there's a good reason we weren't informed about any of that. He mentioned information was on a need-to-know basis, and he brought up a good point about the team. If there was anything dangerous down there, then there probably wouldn't be a team to save. But I mean, it's just like Jack said. Why the guns? If it's an absolute certainty, then why even bother getting an armed search and rescue team? They've got nothing to hide, then why is any of this classified to begin with? I mean, seriously, they gotta be hiding something with all this fucking secrecy bullshit. Right now, I'm just praying we don't figure out about the hard way. All right, quiet. The yeah, meter just spiked. I think we're close. You getting anything? I mean, it's breathing like I'm right on top of it, but hold up. Oh, shit. Found it. Right here. Oh, shit. Damn. It's a little fast the shape. Let's go ahead and mark the edge here. Yeah, one sec. Section, this is Miller. We've breached the drop-off point. I'm gonna go ahead and send the camera down and see what we got. Then we'll set up to make our descent. Over. Roger that. Good work. We'll try to notify the team that you're there, and we'll see if they're able to move in closer to Watch meet out. you guys at the bottom. Gonna try to make this trip as short as possible for everyone. Over. 10-4, keep us posted. All right, listen up. Unless you want to be rescued too, do not cross this line. Got it? Let's go ahead and set up one of the lines here so we can send the camera down and see exactly what we're dealing with. That is something else right there. Damn! It's pitch black down there. Well, let's see if we can fix that. You ready? Yep, send it. Holy shit. What? Um, we are absolutely sure they're still even alive, right? Well, I mean, that's what we're here to find out, isn't it? How what the hell did they survive a fall like this? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, Hudson! Hudson, don't fucking do that, you asshole! You do that again and I'm gonna throw your ass down there. I am serious. All right, knock it off, both of you. Hudson, come on me and load this. Yeah, it 
should be. All right, yeah, I see it. Uh, looks like the camera just came back up, so we'll go ahead and let you know what it looks like in RF. Over. All right, that should be the bottom. Oh, damn, okay. Definitely fits the description. Yeah, I'm sure it smells lovely down there, too. I'm guessing one of you guys dropped that down there? Yeah, I dropped one down earlier. I wanted to see how deep it went. Section, this is Miller. We've sent the camera down and got brief footage of the bottom. Everything pretty much matches their description. Looks like some kind of underground tunnel system. Almost like a sewer. Looks like you might be right about that high drop, though. Looks like it's going to be a long way down. Took a while before the camera finally hit the ground. Copy that. Any signs of the team? Nothing. Not from what we can see. What about you? Heard anything from them yet? Yeah, it's still working on it. Voices kept cutting in and out, so we got no idea if they were reading us clearly. Although that was about half an hour ago, and it's been pretty much silent since then. All right, we'll go ahead and start setting up to rope down, and we'll try to get down there as fast as we can. Let us know if you hear anything. Over. Copy. We'll keep you posted. Hey, Miller, you mind me asking why we set up three? I wasn't exactly planning on sharing a line with someone. All right, quiet. Listen up. Change your plans. Hudson, I need you to stay up here in case anything goes wrong. We need something while we're down there. If you don't hear from us within an hour, then go back and get help because something's gone wrong. All right, yes, sir. Sounds good. Everyone else, get set up. You're with me. Looks like it's still in the same spot. 
But with that being said, it hasn't moved for a while. Okay, roger that. Let's proceed with the mission and see if you can find them. If they're dead, we need to make sure. All right, copy that. Hopefully this ain't a wasted truth. You're telling me. All right, get tactical. Let's fan out and find them. Clear. Clear. Which way do we go? It's reading like we gotta take a right. Question is, which right? Wait, look. There's some blood down that way. Holy shit. Well, I guess that helps narrow it down. Damn, Hudson might have had a point. Well, they did say they were hurt from the fall. N no, like, this is a lot of blood, Miller. Could be a mix of everyone's blood. You're just not one person. Clear. Clear. Which way now? It's reading like we gotta go right. Yeah, but the blood trail goes this way. <sighs> All right, let's split up. Shannon, keep following the trail. Let us know where it leads. Me and Jack will head down this way and find the beacon. All right, got it. How far away is it? It says we're like right on top of it, so keep your eyes peeled. What the hell? Miller, check this out. It's right here. Oh shit. Yeah, this is definitely it. But where's the team? You think they'd be right here with it, you know? Yeah. Why leave it here and go somewhere else? Uh, guys? Yeah? Come take a look at this. One of the researchers' suits. Looks like they tore themselves out of it or something? Probably ditched them. They've been stuck down here a while. I'd imagine these things get uncomfortable. Yeah, but why go through the visor like this? I mean, it's completely smashed up and there's blood everywhere. Well, either way, we better get moving. If they're cut and bleeding, then that means we're even more pressed for time to... Contact! 12 o'clock! Hey, don't move! <laughs> please, please, I'm not going to fight! Just please don't shoot! Okay, okay, relax, man. It's gonna be okay. We're the team sent to help you guys. Uh, are you injured? I, I was, but I was able to walk back. I heard you guys coming, so I tried to make it back on my own. Where's the rest of your team? This way, over here. They're still alive, but they need help right now. Okay, ma'am, lead the way. We'll follow you. Whoa, 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 guys, hold up. What? The fuck you mean, hold up? They need our help. Something's not right about this. Ma'am, what's your name? Grace. Grace Williams. Miller? What? She's... She's not moving her mouth. What? Are you guys gonna help us out or not? Holy shit, you're right. What the fuck? How is that even possible? All right, everyone, stay calm. Watch your positions. Holy shit! <laughs> Well, it's 
Hudson! Hudson, pull me out, oh. please! Oh. Hang on! Hang on, I got you! Try to relax, okay? Relax? You're telling me to relax? How am I supposed to relax when I'm the reason Miller and Shannon are dead? Because I couldn't stand my ground. No, I had to run like a fucking coward. How the fuck do you expect me to relax? Cool it right now before you bleed out in front of me. That wasn't your fault, all right? You did the best you could. They're dead because of that fucking thing, not you, okay? Don't blame yourself. Will you please relax before I lose you too? <laughs> there. You should hold for now. Section, this is Hudson. Jackson made it out. He's alive, but he's severely wounded. I managed to get him stable, but I need a professional down here now. Miller and Shannon are dead. Something else was down there. Something we sure as hell weren't ready for. The whole thing was a goddamn setup, and we fell right into it. They. They. They used the research as like fucking ragdolls, like puppets. They mimicked their voices. I don't think they survived the fall. I don't think they were ever alive down there. Roger that. Sending medical down to assist. I'm sorry for your loss down there. Over. Camera's still rolling. It might be damaged, but I think so. I don't know. Go check. 